you. Now at five, a joyous reunion at Epley Airfield as hundreds of military members arrived back in Nebraska, look at this, to be with their families. The soldiers tell us this was a very different mission, their deployment to Cuba and the military prison known as Gitmo. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. While they were away, their children got bigger and missed them terribly. Reporter Megan Stewart on the mission and the homecoming. She's live. Craig and Jen, these soldiers are coming back to Nebraska after experiencing those tropical temperatures in Cuba. Many came back saying that they expected to see snow today. Some of them even said that they missed the snow, but of course not nearly as much as they missed their families. Mommy, why are you crying, Mommy? A warm welcome home for soldiers returning to Nebraska after a nine-month deployment to Guantanamo Bay. He looks kind of the same except for he's more tan. Emma Engelman says she and her brother have been waiting for their dad to come home. He's missed out on soccer, baseball, and volleyball games, but now he's back and the kids have plans. Play on the Xbox. <laughs> the complexity of the mission and the uh, just the high profile nature um, but there's no there is absolutely no room for error. Their dad helped run detention operations at Guantanamo Bay. Command Sergeant Richard Krushank says it differed from other missions abroad. It wasn't quite as austere of an environment as what I'm used to in Iraq and Afghanistan or the soldiers had deployed there before but it's still a deployment away from the family. Soldiers' families are still sacrificing. The 402nd Military Police Battalion headquarters consists of about 50 soldiers. I'm happy to have them back. Now, they're home. Nerve-wracking because we haven't seen him for quite a long time. Welcome home. And this group says they are lucky because while they were deployed, they were right in the path of Hurricane Irma. But that storm ended up shifting three degrees, totally missing them, hitting the other side of Cuba. There are more soldiers that will be coming home tonight. Governor Pete Ricketts will be on hand to greet them. Reporting live at Epley Airfield, Megan Stewart, 3 News Now.